Good morning. Hi, Matt. Sorry we're late. It's Billy, Joe, and Will from Star 95.9. Forget about it. How are you guys doing this morning? We're good. We're good. We don't know you and we love you. Oh, <laughs> I feel the same about you guys. I think I know you a little more than you know me, though. <laughs> we, um, I know you asked me, how did you hear about this? I'll be honest. Um, uh, I think it was like a community Facebook page that popped up. Yes, the Deer Run Group. Maybe that's what it was. See, we're in Bonavista. Maybe that's what it was? I don't know what the hell it was. You guys are close. Yeah, this is so fun. Do you mind if we just record a... Okay, you know what's funny? I hate scary things. Hate them, but people keep showing up for it, so I'll keep doing it. Well, we're thrilled to have the curator? What do we call it? I curator works. I've never been called it before. It's the first. Okay, okay. Annual Deer Bay Haunt Experience Back. How did you come about this wonderful layout visit? Oh, it's just all things that happen. Is this your house? Go in front of your house. Yeah, yeah, my wife is not very happy. It's actually in my house, and my wife is not very happy about that fact, but she's very generous in letting us do it for the eighth year in a row now. <laughs> yeah, we moved in in 2016, and our little cul de sac of 10 houses used to get six kids. So we thought, I thought we'd do something about it, and we started a haunted house, and last year we hit 594 people, and we're pacing to have about 700 come through the haunt this year. It's pretty crazy. Every age, too, and almost as many adults as there are kids who just want to come out and experience the scare. And you kind of started this, don't you, in the middle of October? The skeleton, there's a different scene every day. Yeah, we were... yeah, my neighbor really got into it with me right from the day one, and she does kind of an elf on her shelf thing starting middle of October. Her skeletons are on her driveway, and they do a different scene. One day they're skiing down a hill, the next they're changing the winter tires. It's, it's always really fun. Yeah, we had we had so many people show up last year. We actually got a permit this year to shut down the cul-de-sac. So you're gonna park in the street, lots of street parking. You're gonna come in, drop a non-perishable in the casket. Last year, people were super generous. They raised 140 pounds of food, which was for the food bank, which was amazing. You can, yeah, uh, grab a hot chocolate by the hot chocolate station. You can check out the 20-foot tall pirate ship with the toast of skeletons. And then when you're ready, you can enter the haunt, and we have about a dozen volunteers from the community who are all really excited to scare everybody this year. How? I she's very generous. That's all I got to say. Quite a few, actually. There's quite a few people who start and then they decide they can't and they try to come back again. If, if you have little kids, we have giant glow sticks, we're calling them magic wands, and we'll give it to you, and that way the volunteers know not to scare you when they see them. But for everybody else, it's fair game. You just gotta brace yourself. Well, so there was a house when I was a kid, we chatted about this, and uh, I remember, I don't even know how old I was, but very young, we went over there and had a deal. <laughs> my neighbor my neighbor was out checking uh, setting up to have the skeletons about a week ago and there was a group of three little boys who came up grilling her about what's going to be different this year from last year and the previous year yeah it's become a community fixture it's really really neat to be a part of it wow and that was the first 400 kids <laughs> Yeah, we have tons of candy, but for the first 400 kids, we have a bag full of like gummies and chocolates and Pokemon cards as well. Okay, give us your address. What time does it start? Yeah, find all the details on DeerBayHaunt.com. Uh, we're uh, right on Little Deer Bay. That's uh, the little cul-de-sac. Uh, we're running the haunt from six o'clock to nine o'clock. We love that you have your own website. Like <laughs> <laughs> you, you got to get the info out somehow, right? <laughs> well, happy Halloween. Well, I appreciate you guys uh, letting us share the word so we can raise a little more food for them. Thanks, Matt. You're awesome. Hey, you guys have a great Halloween. Thanks for the call. Bye. Bye.